All right, so after a few hours of struggle, I actually started struggling last night. I mean, I finally managed to get AFMF or AMD's uh, fluid motion frames working in uh, Starfield. It's supposed to be supported with the new uh, tech preview driver that I got uh, last night, but uh, I had some issues with the install and it just didn't want to launch. All right, so if you are confused about all the numbers on the screen, don't be. I've got uh, MSI Afterburner in the top left hand corner there and then there's a white number there that actually shows us the uh, the input latency or the, the system latency from anti-lag plus and then on the top right hand corner we've got uh, the Radeon metrics as well. Now the reason why I've got the AMD Radeon metrics is because MSI Afterburner does not uh, pick up the generated frames so the frame rate reported by MSI Afterburner will not show you uh, the true frame rate or the frame rate with the included generated frames so that's why i've got both up at the same time but you can see that we do have a frames per second counter on both we've got a frame time counter on both and just one thing that i did see is that on the right hand corner there you'll see that the cpu utilization is stating 100 percent whereas on msi afterburner it's stating 75 percent i'm going to go with msi afterburner sorry if this video is going to have a few more cuts than usual i broke a tooth yesterday and my tongue is very sore so I'm lisping a little bit more than uh, usual and uh, if it does sound a little bit too strange then that's the reason why all right so at the moment let me just get rid of uh, most of the stuff here at the moment we're at 1080p I'm just on the medium preset I just disabled uh, upscaling right this is on an RX 7600 so just a basic entry-level AMD 7000 series GPU with 8 gigabytes of VRAM and uh, it's just a run through a capture card at the moment but 1080p medium preset just with no fsr i just wanted to get a baseline performance number here with the native resolution and you can see we are pretty much staying at around 60 frames per second let me just bring this one up because it's a little bit easier to read we are dropping below 60 frames per second every now and again but on average i'd say it's, it's around 60 frames per second unless we actually start fighting then it does drop below if they will actually engage me in combat this time sometimes they do and sometimes they don't and my companion just left because she did not approve of what i was doing so over here it even dropped below 50 frames per second uh, yesterday i made a mistake and i said uh, dropping into the low 60s when it was 67 frames per second i do apologize profusely about that it's just a slip of the tongue and uh, i can't believe that i made such a great error anyway so not going to be a very long video this but i do need a gun I keep on pressing f because i'm used to cyberpunk been playing that for quite a bit you can see we are like averaging around 60 frames per second right right so one good thing about afmf is that it is driver level based right so you don't need game support for it i mean there needs to be game support for it but you don't need to enable it in the games menu you can enable it directly from the amd radeon software amd adrenaline software and uh, that's exactly what we'll do now as uh, soon as these guys stop killing me which they probably won't so i'm just going to reload my save all right so i just reloaded my save and i do have a companion still so that's good so what you actually need to do is you need to go into amd's uh, adrenaline software yeah and you need to enable fluid motion frames right so then that will become enabled you don't need to restart the game i'll show you right now what you actually need to do just to make sure that it is running correctly you'll see in the top right hand corner there our frame rate went up to around 120 frames per second whereas msi afterburner still reports it as uh, 60 frames per second or 59 frames per second so it's basically double our frame rate right but you can make sure you can just press alt and r and uh, this brings up the radon overlay and there you can see frame generation status active all right and uh, too many alt tabs there <laughs> all right so let's see all right this is still at native without fsr i'm going to just get rid of msr afterburner here we'll just focus on a radion overlay for a second for the rest of the run now i just wanted to show you in the top left hand corner we still got a, a number there that is the system latency you can actually see it matches the system lag in the top right hand corner as well and the reason why i want to do that is because anti-lag plus is enabled and apparently if you press control it'll disable anti-lag plus to show you the system latency without anti-lag and then if you let go of control it'll show you the system latency with anti-lag plus right so you can see at native we 
I want to say we doubled our frame rate, but we, we didn't really, like pretty much, but it went down to around 80 there for a second. I did not see 40 frames per second at all during any of my test runs. So I would I would say it's it's slightly less than doubling the frame rate, maybe 80%. Let's see if uh, what happens. Um, I mean, <laughs> there, she disliked that and now she's, uh, she's going to be running away again. Right, so you can see we are dipping into the 70s even, but I mean, this is an RX 7600. And this game is extremely poorly optimized. Don't let anybody tell you <laughs> anything different. This is definitely not the, the best optimized game at all. Right, so, but we were dropping into into the mid 40s there. Like, just make double sure, because uh, let's not uh, make that same mistake again of me saying mid 40s when it was actually in the upper 40s. Anyway, so maintaining 60 frames per second here and our input latency is slightly higher and it is a little bit noticeable but it's definitely not the end of the world especially in a in a game like this it's a first person shooter obviously you can change the camera angles then it becomes a third person shooter but it's not the end of the world it's not competitive so i'm pretty okay with this system latency as it is so just one thing that i actually want to do is I'm not a big fan of enabling upscanning at 1080p, but that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. We're going to enable FSR, but I'm just going to set the render resolution scale to 80%. Before I do that though, let me just show you that it actually performs the same with the FSR set to enabled and a render resolution scale set to 100. That just means that it uses FSR's uh, anti-aliasing now. So, I mean, the performance is pretty much the same, right? As you can see, around 100 frames per second depending on what's happening on the screen right so if you want a more consistent uh, frame rate and slightly lower input latency we can do that by just uh, decreasing the render resolution and to give you an idea to to actually stay above 60 frames per second with this gpu previously i had to run it at uh, fsr 60 uh, percent resolution scale so over here we'll just go and uh, drop down the resolution scale to around 80 percent and over here it still looks okay i mean this game doesn't look great but it looks okay it feels okay it runs okay and i died right and i mean i didn't die i just uh, ran back all the way here and I mean, you can see we are pretty much staying above 100 frames per second now all the time. I know I'm moving the mouse around quite a bit. I'm just trying to, to test the input latency here to get a feel for it. But it is a much better experience than at native. And you can see our frame time graph or our frame time definitely represents our frame rate there. I mean, just uh, divide a thousand by the number you see there and you'll get the frames per second. And if we compare that to MSI Afterburner, you'll see once again, it is reporting double. But from what I've read, that is uh, supposed to be normal. And I do think that uh, <laughs> this is actually not a bad experience this. I'm actually going to be playing Starfield a little bit further on this GPU. I try and use all GPUs that I use in my videos in my main system for a few weeks just to get a true feel for the <laughs> GPUs so that my videos aren't just about the numbers that you see on the screen. I actually use it for a few weeks. I edit with it in Adobe and uh, I've got uh, normal work that I do with it as well. So I mean that that way I just get a full picture of what the GPU is actually capable of. So anyway what I was going to say is I'm going to put this uh, 7600 in my main system just for staff fields that I can use uh, AFMF. Remember this is driver level. You need to be using an AMD 7000 series GPU. I'll see if I can put a link in the description to the driver download page. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.